But tonight, on this wintry Friday night, the two stories on everybody's mind we know. The Browns playoff game tomorrow and, of course, the weather we're seeing here, bringing some of the coldest conditions of the season to us over the next few days. That's where we want to begin tonight with you. With meteorologist Anthony Copeland, he has a first look. What stands out to you, Anthony? Well, I don't know if you haven't been outside over the past five hours or so, Christy. It's all about the wind. We have another windstorm that's unfolding right on top of Northeast Ohio. So, yes, we do have precipitation. We had the wet snowflakes earlier this afternoon and evening. Calls us a little bit of concern on the roadways in parts of Northeast Ohio, but mainly it's been about the wind speeds and also tracking the latest when it comes to the power outages across the area, but still kind of isolated to scatter. We're not tracking any widespread power outages upwards to uh, 8,000 customers from Cuy Cuyahoga County still without power compared to 10,000 just a few hours ago. Right now we're tracking just damp conditions across much of the area right now with temperatures remaining above the freezing mark at least for the next four hours or so. Then the big change is underway after that, but widespread is all about the wind speeds. High wind warning until one o'clock Sunday morning. Wind advisory down to the south. We're still looking at wind gusts getting as high as 55 miles an hour. When you're under the warning, wind gusts could top as high as 60 plus miles an hour. Where is windy right now? Everywhere. <laughs> We're looking at wind speeds anywhere between 15 to 25. Gusts in as high as 39 in Youngstown, as high as 33 in Akron, as high as 26 in Elyria. So rain, yes. We're tracking scattered rainfall that's going to continue to be a part of the picture here as we get close to midnight, but it's a part of this storm system that's wrapping up. So we're going to get a bit of a break, a lull in the action. There we're talking about some bitterly cold temperatures is going to be rolling in our direction. We already see the switch when it comes to precipitation and when it comes to the temperatures, I'll let you know just how cold we get for your holiday weekend and even beyond that in my 10 day forecast, Christy, mm, some of the cold is there in over a year. Yeah, oh my goodness. All right, Anthony, we appreciate it. Thank you so much. We'll look forward to getting that information. Uh, as he was talking about the winds, a big problem tonight with that is the power outages that are associated with it, of course. So here's the latest we know from First Energy for you. Right now, there are more than 8,000 outages just in Cuyahoga County. Ashtabula County, you have more than 4,000. Lake County has just under 4,000, and Geauga County has a little more than 2,000 this hour. Crews are working around the clock, though, to get things back up and running, and we're thinking about them because it's a bit of a dangerous uh, job for them tonight with these winds. The power outages are impacting a major shopping center tonight as well. That's Eastgate you're looking at there in Mayfield Heights. It was in the dark for several hours tonight. Many businesses relying on backup generators to keep the lights on. And the power outage numbers, they're going to change as the night goes on. Neil Fisher is live in Cleveland right now. He has the latest on that issue and what other counties are dealing with tonight. Neil. Hey, good evening, Christy. Utility crews are out working to restore, restore power, but First Energy tells me that it may be difficult because of these conditions. Thousands of Northeast Ohioans are or will be impacted by this harsh winter weather. Strong winds, rain and snow, leaving many in the dark. If you see any downed wire, no matter if it's a power line, a cable line or a telephone line, please assume that it is energized and dangerous and call to report it. First Energy crews prepared to work day and night on 16 hour shifts. First Energy spokesperson Lauren Seberkus tells me it's all hands on deck, but that may not even be enough to restore your power in these conditions. When we have sustained high winds over 40 miles per hour, we cannot send our crews up in bucket trucks to safely make repairs. So that can really hinder our restoration efforts, especially when we're looking at those sustained high winds for long periods of time. Counties across Northeast Ohio in either a high wind warning or a wind advisory. Winter is here. Friday afternoon, Richland County EMA Director Rebecca Owens issued a level one snow emergency, which indicates roads are hazardous, may be icy, and motorists are urged to proceed with caution. Owens compared this system to the one that hit Northeast Ohio during Christmas in 2022, when residents in the area had pipes burst. We sure don't want to see that happen again. Again, let your water faucet, you know, drip a little bit. Um, if you've got freezing pipes, that might happen. The strong winds and wet conditions expected to bring down trees and power lines, but First Energy crews will continue their efforts to restore power as soon as possible. 
with these types of weather events, the high winds and trees just are a recipe for disaster. And we tend to see the most outages in areas that do have a lot of trees. That level one snow emergency in Richland County has been lifted. Meanwhile, they will be opening warming centers starting tomorrow. They will have two going through next Saturday. There are also warming centers in Akron and Cleveland as these temperatures drop. For more information on that, you can visit our website, WKYC.com. Christy. I think about all of those people that just don't have a home to go to and how they're going to be OK. Neil Fisher, we appreciate it so much. Thank you. So the Ohio Turnpike the way has now issued a travel ban for high profile vehicles. We're talking about tow behind trailers, campers, boats, enclosed trailers and commercial semi trucks transporting empty cargo containers. This ban is in effect across the entire toll road that starts tonight at midnight. So in just a little less than an hour until 6 p.m. tomorrow.